I just want to make a quick video. Um, from the place that I'm at, we have a lot of this uh, six inch wide mesh wire where the, the vertical stays are six inches apart and uh, the, uh, the up and downs or the horizontals are about the same. They get a little smaller at the bottom, but these six inch spreads like this, they're not good for goats. Um, you don't want that. If, you, if you're gonna put up a mesh wire fence, you want a, you want a 12 inch space from the verticals. So this vertical to this vertical should be 12 inches. Or you wanna go with the, the actual goat fence, which is like a, a four by four uh, wire, all the, you know, four by four mesh wire all the way down. Or you could do, you could do a horse fence, a two by four mesh wire. Um, so anyhow, I just wanted to, to put that in there that, that this is not ideal goat fence. It'll hold a goat, but as you can see, it'll literally hold a goat. They can't get, they can't get their heads back out. So I'm, I'd rather have this than, you know, than not, something that won't hold a gold, goat at all, but it creates problems just like this where these goats get their heads hung. And it, if you're not on top of it and, and you're not looking for your goats or checking fence lines on a regular basis, you know, you, you can kill goats this way real easy. So, um, it, you know, it's, it's not ideal by any means, but we're on a lease property, um, you know, so we, we don't, uh, we, we take what we get a little bit. But my solution for this is when I find a goat like this hung in the fence, oftentimes the first time I'll, I'll take my fencing pliers and I'll, simp I'll tip a horn, I'll cut a tip of their horn off, and that way, um, if I, when I find them again the second time, you know, I know that they've been there. Um, so uh, a lot of times what I'll do on, on my four wheeler is I'll carry, I'll carry some tape and, and maybe a piece of pipe or, or maybe I'll cut a tree limb and actually make it out of the limb. But then we'll, we'll take this on the front of these horns on this goat. So then, so then she can't, she can't put her, literally cannot get her head all the way through these, these gaps like this. And that'll prevent that from happening. So this isn't, you know, this isn't a, a good solution, but, it, but it's a solution that we have and uh you know we make it work with that so anyhow um just wanted to get you guys updated on that what i'll do is it's kind of a wrestling match but if i'm by myself you know i'll get the tape started on the on the pipe just like this so it's already there and then and then i'll have to to wrestle that goat's head out and then i'll simply keep the goat in between my legs kind of up there ramp just in front of the shoulders and then I've got both hands where I can work on the horns and, and get this strapped down onto their horns. So anyhow, uh, that's a, just a, a little tip that, that I've gathered up uh, doing this last few years. Um, like I say, it'd be much better if the fences were ideal, but we don't live in an ideal world. So anyhow, I just wanted to throw that out there for you guys. Again, uh, please like and subscribe our videos and I look forward to making the next one. Thanks, bye.